think that's everything. All, right. all right, it looks it like we're good to all right. Go Touch ahead your channels. Off to your channels, and we'll get ready here. Wait for the grab wall. So at this time we could pop food, right? At this time, yeah, you pop food or pop. Well, after the thing. I, I don't see all your right. stream anymore. Yeah, he, I was on stream right now. All right, everybody oh. else, back up. I can stream. Well, he's. Not you know already. how much time left? Yeah, uh, you don't have much time left. I don't know why that. Okay, here we go. And they open up early with an they ice shower. They open up early. <laughs> I don't know if that ice shower was a little too early. Cub dives in. That might be a little bit dangerous. Wonton's moving around. He's brought Rebel a rapier today. He's going to be very Ooh. difficult to catch. And Cub goes down quickly. That's a lot of damage. That burnout did look dangerous. We got a big fray coming now. The heals are down though. We're not seeing much debuffs going out. There's a shockwave and a counter shockwave. A lot of grab wells going around. Not seeing a lot of focus pressure yet, except for the pressure that came onto Ka. Weeping Bell, Daedalus, taking a good bit of damage now. He's down at about half life, moving around. He's got a beacon on. Moxu goes down suddenly. What a lot of damage went down on him. That's a huge burst. Moxu and Ka both down, looking difficult. The, the, a grab wall goes out on spiders, and now spiders is being jumped. Ooh, Tony very spiders low, like moving away. He gets well. caught out. Spiders, even with that amazing healing, not capable of dealing with the incredible burst meta that we see right now. A lot of damage from those great axes. They can kill everything but spiders. Apparently, spiders are very difficult to kill with a great axe. I've personally never tried. I usually use a shoe or something like that. Uh, perhaps try using shoes if you want to kill spiders. <laughs> Maybe that's why the enemies have difficulty. <laughs> I fucking hate it here, dude. Right. <laughs> that looks All like right. Ruby's the last one who's gonna go down here as five of them try to try to focus him down. He's taking him, and he goes down. And, and we have a winner. That's the late life. the late bloomers come together to create a 5-0 victory right there and pick up three points for the first round. Already, oh, that's awesome. Proving why they they are the meta right now. Oh, exactly. Pretty cool. I did. Uh, I did spend like five seconds trying to last hit uh, <laughs> cut until I realized it wasn't possible. <laughs> I did the same thing. I was like, there's whacking it. You get, All right, uh, let's you... have the winners please move out of the arena, and our next two teams come in. They will be Viz's team and Twist team. Please meet us in the middle of the arena and oh, pre-buff your foods and honing stones. Oh, good fight, guys. Yep, good fight. And Ryu, and let's take a look at what we got here. We got yeah. Live. He's a big damage mage right there. We could possibly see a lot of damage from him, but is he going to be able to survive through the great axes that are available today? Pokey, really showing off his stuff. Big biceps on that one. I've seen him with a shield on a point. It takes a lot of guys to get him off of there. Monger, one of our group callers over here, big great axe, really knows how to move and twist. Well, what more can you say about this guy? Just look at that leotard. And the only yeah, thing that could crown. possibly be better is if he took it off like Princess Dug Dug has here. Two high-quality players in two high-quality pairs of boots. That's the team of style. I think they're going to have a good chance in this tournament. I mean, even if they aren't getting wins, they definitely won a spot in the Fashion Awards. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. And then over here on the, uh, on the other team, we see Bearju running what he doesn't normally run. We see him with a sword and shield and a spear. That, that could be very dangerous for its Ooh, lockdown. Spear. Next to that, we got Hentai, one of our big damage. Great Axe Warhammer melees here. He could definitely provide some hurt. And Sage, who plays with him consistently, however, is running a not-typical spec as well. Also running the spear and the shield. Looks like we're actually looking like we're seeing something actually put together here. Maybe going for a little bit of control with those two builds. We got Benji back here, too. It is known to absolutely delete an individual if they end up in the wrong position. And our great Governor Viz here looking dashing as always with his top hat. We never know what he's going to do. He could potentially dupe millions of damage onto them. Yeah, and I heard that they had a healer who wasn't able to make it. I think his name was Ajari. And well, so now they had Benji sub in, and we'll see how that's going to do with their comp. They did try to recruit Ajari for an event the day after his birthday, so that was a dangerous call. We'll see if they have any more dangerous calls moving on in this tournament. All right, if the two teams can meet in the middle here as close to each other as possible and give each other some kisses and then uh, duel each other, we'll get this started. <laughs> Twist, you can send the invite. Send you an invite? Yeah. Did you get that? I think everyone should have got that. 
I got one. Okay, it's accepted. Okay, yeah, perfect. We got them all to work. Wonderful. So Let's... both teams backing off to their sides. We have two groups of heavy hitters ready to go here. We're going to toss a grab well in the air and wait for them to move off to their channels. Which one are we joining? All right, everybody is in there, and we are going to, when the grab well pops, we're going to see him go. Sage, moving a little early there. I mean, I think we could call a foul, but we'll see how this moves forward. Okay. I think we're fine that it, that initial movement didn't really cause much displacement. We got a lot of damage coming down on the middle. Kind of not a lot of focus on a target. However, Twist does go down, but it was really just from damage that was coming down on everything. It is a real brutal melee combat here. Live diving through with a burnout. Benji taking a lot of damage. Several people quite taking some damage. However, the sustainability of Viz's team is looking to prove useful in this Ooh, composition. Looks like, inside, looks like Benji Pokey is down. over here. He's coming up for a res. He gets Twist back for up for the res. And Twist is back oh, in. This oh is my. a dangerous play. This could turn the tides. Twist is on oh. Bear Juice back here. He gets a grab well in there. This looks like it's big. He makes a play on Bear Juice. Gets him down. We got Bear Juice, Sage, both the hentai all down. Benji as well down. There's a big play by Pokey on the res right there. That was incredible. Viz in the middle. And he has taken a lot of damage. I'm not sure exactly where the battle was at at that point in time, but I definitely got to say that that res from Pokey was undoubtedly the MVP play of that round. And getting Twist back up definitely caused that battle to snowball. What a fucking play by Pokey right there. That's why we have Pokey W. That's why Pokey gets the Ws. Viz actually got a res off there too on Benji, but then Benji just went immediately back down again. <laughs> oh, I mean, that might have been because Twist was back up. He brings a lot yeah. of damage. Calling exploit. Great fight. The dupes. <laughs> <laughs> Tournament. The rewards are now only 100k. <laughs> Elysian's now duping, uh, duping lives, dude. <laughs> All right, well, that actually ends our first round with Team Spicy and Team Twist picking up two points. In our uh, next round here, we're going to go with our first round is actually going to be the team that we haven't seen, Jexus's team, and we are also going to see Spicy's team coming against them, the winners from last round. Now make sure you don't start charging until the grab well pops. And so we do have a... Pretty interesting fight here. We've already seen Spicy's team, but to talk about the team that we haven't seen, Team Jexus, we've uh, put this team together. Well, they were already actually together, and we put them together in our wars, and they've really shown up pretty well recently, so I'm really excited to see what they can do in a five-man here because I think they might have a little bit more cohesiveness than the rest of the teams, and it's actually that cohesiveness that makes them my favorites in this tournament. Ryuan, what do you think of these te this team that we haven't seen yet? I think this team's going to be uh, an underdog for sure, but I think it's a team that can surprise a lot of people with what they can do. I'm excited to see how they're going to work. They definitely have a good composition inside of that. We have our Some of our players are actually dying to cringe right now, so that means the broadcast is going perfectly, <laughs> which is good. <laughs> that is the entire aim so far. Uh, a lot of rolling around. Maybe we're dueling each other. I'm not sure if we're sending this out. They all decided to stack up on each other right away, so I thought they were just going to go for it. I have to have the officials help them out here. Uh, make sure you guys start when the gravel goes away. Not when it starts. Alright, let's have both teams move off to their channels and make sure that you go when the gravel pops. Maybe I should just toss the gravel in between them, then if they try to go through... Hold on, I, uh, people are like getting channels mixed up right now. Yeah. They'll give yeah, that's a good idea. All right, Jexus's team. Interesting builds, interesting comp they got going here. Let's see what they can do with it. They're not in the same channel. They're all in one channel for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. They got it. Yeah, we're we're going to figure it out. From the previous now rounds. we are going to go ahead and toss this grab well out in hopes that it goes in time. And we are off. Team Jex is starting out with an ice storm and poking a little bit from range. Artori is trying to get in there with a grab well. Moogie following up as well. Gets a few in the club. He does get some good damage down right there. We do see a nice spike come out. We see Daedalus. Ooh, he takes a big spike and goes down Ooh. very quickly. No way anything could have ever held through that. Moogie throwing out some CC. Maybe a little bit late. Maybe use that before the spike. 
Artorius also going down low. Artorius He's taking down. a dirt nap. Moogie trying to dodge out of that. Native just jumping around. Look at him. He's all over Spicy. Spicy using that flesh to get out of there. Dodges it's right through an Moogie. ice tower. That works out very good. Turns on Moogie. A big damage comes out. Puts him down to the ground. Turning now on Native. Good damage coming out on Native, but also being returned to Weeping Bell. Good trade won by... Uh, Jexus's team and Jexus really just picking up the pieces of the other team here tries to flesh out that gets interrupted a little bit of tea bag for spicy and we end with a glass of tea great job by team Jexus right there really picking out the targets and bringing them down effectively Ryuin yeah, and I had an absolute slaughter from Jexus's team sheesh not not expected from how strong Moogie's team looked like from the previous round like I said, there is a reason that they're my favorites. They have really impressed me in what I've been seeing, and that is an awful lot of tape in recent days. So they really do have something going well there. I think our other teams might have to step it up to compete with that, but how are they going to battle with the res strategies of Team, team Twist with Pokey W? I mean, what do you even do with that? Yeah, I don't know. The resing is pretty OP if you can get it off, so let's see how they're going to counter that. All right, and so our next two teams are going to be the team led by Ka and the team led by Viz. So if you guys can meet us down here. All right, so we've seen both of these teams. This is an effective first round losers bracket. So both teams looking to, you know, start getting some steam here, pick up some points. And we're definitely going to have some new points on the board after this one. Hey, we lost a member. We lost Berju. What happened to Bearju? Yeah. Where Bearju? He did. He DC'd. Rage quit. All right. Yeah. Well, we Should are we waiting wait for Bearju to come back. Bryce sub it. Bryce is back. Bearju is back. back. And Sinzin is uh, stepping in. <laughs> this will be interesting to see. Sinzin, uh, pretty new to this role here. <laughs> I just beat Rai, so... Yeah, pretty good, pretty yeah. good at video games, though, so he might be all right. <laughs> After his second duel, he already he already had uh, had the ropes. Uh, initiate the duel. Right, <laughs> yeah. and the time of day is changing. We got a, ba a uh, shadow cast over half the battlefield. Do you think that will influence our competitors at all? Oh yeah, I mean the the team who's not standing in the shadows here might get a little sunlight <laughs> in their eyes when they're facing the opponents. So we'll see how it affects them. We get five. Move down. Uh, yep. Yeah, yeah, all right, everybody we'll is here. We're waiting for them to move off to their channels. And then we're going to get the final battle of round two, I think, started. Might be wrong there. All right. Looks like Now, everybody... business team switching now. Uh, Bearju, who had a spear with Sinzen, who's now using Great Axe Warhammer. We'll see what that Looks changes. Looks like everybody's there. good to go. The gravity well is off. And let's see what our competitors choose to do. Ka opens a little early with some, some damage. You know, a little bit of premature ejaculation there from Cub, but it doesn't look like it's very game-changing. Not a lot of damage from it. Good gravity well comes down on group. We got a big clump forming here. Nice entombed by Cub. We got a nice shower down on that. And it looks like Cub goes down suddenly, though. Looking very fragile once he came out of that entomb. Sage following up on Moxu over here, chasing him around. Not sure whether that's the best target, but he is continually going after him. Perhaps there's some kind of strategy to shut him down. Sage taking a lot of damage. We got a gravity well and a few AoEs coming down. Shockwave sent out by Hentai. We got a sacred ground down from spiders. Not a lot of focus on spiders. Very interesting. Maybe they're going for more of a burst mechanic rather than focusing the healer. Not sure that's the right idea against what is most likely one of the best healers in this game, if not the best healer in this game. Probably no one to let that thing free cast. We got another gravity well out. It's uh, completely rogue. I'm not even sure what they were casting it at. Sinzin taking a little bit of damage. It's incredible how few deaths we're seeing right here. We see Cus oh, still down on the ground. And, oh my gosh. And Three. all of a sudden, boom, boom, boom. We got explosions going everywhere. And we got a lot of people dropping and hitting the ground. Path comes out at the same time as Shockwave. Sinzin definitely taking some damage. He's at about half-life, but still up there. Hentai, full life. Sage, half-life. Benji's over here pushing on the spiders. Looks like maybe a miscommunication. We got our damage shifted over now. Sinzin and Sage, Sage and Benji up. all following up on spiders. Ruby caught away in a grab well. Spiders goes down that suddenly. Good coordinated down. burst. Excellent coordinated burst. Ruby the tank, he's rolling away. He's dodging away. Good to see him use that free dodge roll, even though he's in the heavy armor there. But there's not a lot you can do when you're getting trained by five dudes. An I can tell you, man, I tried my best last Saturday getting trained with five dudes, but... All it was was a good time. <laughs> An absolute dominant performance from Viz's team here. It seems like the change with Sinzen was a very good idea. I was using it. It was calculated. It was calculated. 
All right, and so that brings us to the end of round two. And uh, interesting occurrence has happened. We've actually seen all teams get some points so far. So ev all four of our teams, uh, four of our teams, we should have five teams. Whose team is the one that has, oh, Ka's team. All teams but Ka have picked up three points so far. So Ka definitely looking for some, uh, what is that called? You know, when they get back at for stuff later, they're looking for that, but they're not going to see it in this next round because they're actually <laughs> sitting out this round. And so for our next fight, though, we are going to see Jexus's team, who had a really good performance in the second round. We're going to see them again, and we're also going to see them go against Twist's team. And we're going to see exactly how they are capable of dealing with the crazy tactics that are brought out by a team that consists of Doug, Doug, and Pokey, some of the weirdest in individuals on the server, perhaps. Ryuan, what do you think we're going to see here? Uh, this is going to be an interesting matchup. I, I'm thinking it's going to be pretty even in terms of skill and pretty even in terms of who's going to be going down. I think it's all going to be up to who's going to play better in terms of AOEing those people who are clumped up trying to uh, trying to attack a, a target or two. Uh, so it's going to be whoever's going to have the best comms, I think. That's what it's going to boil down to. We definitely do have a lot of great singular players in this matchup right here. It will be interesting to see how they come together as teams to fight in this, you know, more group-oriented type of thing. It looks like our competitors are ready in their chat channels. We're going to go ahead and get a gravity well down, and let's get ready to rumble, boys. All right. We start off with some... Slow. We got... Starts right, off with slow. off with some poke, a little bit of range. We got some grab wells coming down. Big dive coming from Twist Team here, going directly in on Saltic. Saltic is at Half-Life, reaps him back in. He dodges away. Going with the light armor might have saved his life right there, but it does not. Mondra is capable of following it up and finishing off that target and securing it. Jexus is the next target that they're looking at here. We're seeing some good damage come out on him as well. Big burst. He's trying to get away. Knocked down, flattened, CCCC, 700 CCs leads to him dying. And we got a, another little fray going on over here. Johnny Mars coming down low. He's an exceptional melee. He could, be, he could turn something around at any time. Kali really con consuming a lot of twist time over here, not going down quite yet. Can be very difficult to kill a an actually effective healer if you don't have every single one of your cooldowns. We're seeing some deaths coming around over here. Johnny Mars goes down as well. Kali proving very difficult to bring down. Native turning around. Now, wow, big burst comes out on Native. We saw a lot I of damage the at the same incinerate. time. And that's, that's all she wrote oh. right there, folks. It turns out that Jexus's team was not capable of overcoming this, but we didn't see any trickery from them that time at all. We really just saw a lot of good coordinated damage and some big early bursts that kind of led to a snowball, it seemed like, right? What do you think? A very surprising turnout from the style and fashion team. I didn't think they'd be doing so as good as they are, but they're, they're absolutely slapping. Uh, the underdog team, which I thought could have possibly ended up winning it uh, with how well they performed their first round, just went, just went down to the style and fashion team. Uh, I'm excited to see if they can turn around. Maybe, uh, maybe Cuz team as well. So you know, I always say when you look good, you feel good. So Twist has got to be feeling pretty good right now, and I can't imagine Doug Doug feels too bad either. Next, we're gonna see Team Spicy and Team Viz down here in the middle. We got uh, both these teams have been capable of picking up some points uh, in the first round. Viz's team losing out to Twist team, however, winning out over Cuz team. But Cuz team is the team with no points right now, so we'll see what that kind of win really means to them. And Spicy's team here was also capable of taking out Cuz team, but not their other combatants. So we have an interesting situation here in that both these teams do have some points, but both these teams got their points from the same team. So we're really going to see what separates them in this battle here. Do you have any ideas on what might happen here, Ryan? Hmm. You know, if I had to choose and choose uh, to bet on a team, I would bet on Viz's team right now. But, you know, we'll see with uh, with Sinzid being new and all. I'm not sure if he can hold up against all the pressure. We'll see. I mean, it might be an effective tactic since he is on a new spec to just tunnel right in on him and see how good he is at using those defensives. I feel like that's something that uh, kind of comes in a little bit later in, in learning how to play a build. How do you feel? Yeah, I mean, but then you're going up against uh, a war veteran like Daedalus. True. Who uh, yeah. who knows how to shut that down, so. And here we go. The fighters are off, so let's see what happens. Artorias gets an early grab well in there. Stops Hentai's movement. He uses up the reap and gets knocked out away. A lot of big damage coming into Sins, and it sounds like maybe they did decide to try and train him. 
However, they did not take into account perhaps that playing on a mage really does require you to be very down. defensive. He, Sinzen does go down, but it wasn't until Artorius went down, so it looks like we've lost one from both sides. We're looking at a 4v4 battle here. Big burst coming out. That oh. AoE really changed a lot right there. A lot of damage came down. Mugi and Sage both going down. Uh, I don't remember the exact teams, but I think that might be a competitor from each team. Hentai really taking a lot of damage here. Um, the Hentai uh, goes I, down. Maybe Mugi. Did Mugi go down and get rezzed, or did I think I saw Mugi dead, but I just caught his nameplate underneath the skull? The world may never know. Benji really taking a lot of damage here. Is he going to be able to get away from this? Viz trying to pull off something tricky, it looks oh, like. Oh, Viz is going for the be able to pull it off? I don't know. He tosses out a shockwave. He dodges away. He's definitely taking some damage, getting Weeping Bell training into him now. Benji and Viz both not looking too hot right now, and they both drop down. Viz absolutely holding true in that fight. He tried his best to try and carry his team, but with Sinzen going down so early, it made it really tough for them. The the war veterancy of uh, Daedalus really proving to to be superior to the, the new ability of a great PvP or switching to Great Axe and Warhammer. They really did do well there, and I, I was right. You know, they tested out his defensive abilities. He was looking good in the first place. He didn't let himself get completely bursted down right away, and definitely did get out of there in the first place. But with the current meta, it's really just hard to get away from a great axe training into your asshole, I feel like. So, you know, you do what you can. Yeah, and really with those kind of fights, <laughs> it seems to be like the first person who gets the first few abilities off uh, really seems to just steamroll the rest of the fight from there. That really does seem to be something with the current kind of bursty meta. Really, like, going first really seems to be better unless your going first wasn't very effective. You know what I mean? Yep. All right, so in the next round, uh, we're going to see again right now uh, the only team that has won both of their battles, Team Twist, and the, the only team that has lost both of their battles, Team Ka. A really true chance for the underdog to step up and take a shot at the current reigning champ, the team with the highest points. It's going to look tough out there for them. There has been a lot of damage and a lot of ingenuity, both coming from Twist team here. They've kind of shown two sides of themselves. Wouldn't you agree, Ryan? Yeah, they, they've been absolutely slaughtering this tournament. Uh, in terms of revenge, though, like you talked about earlier, I think Cuz team is really going to go after it. Uh, and they've definitely probably changed up some strategies, I would think, in their calls. Um, so we'll see what they're going to be doing differently this time. Yeah, I mean, this is a real chance for this thing to turn around entirely and for Cut to, Cut to give his team a chance to really make it into that final bout. And interestingly enough, if Twist team wins this bout, then they can guarantee themselves a chance in the final. So a really good chance to prove, prove their worth here. Twist, using the early charge, uh, I'm going to try and wait a little bit. That's a bit of a throw, though. Maybe he feels like he doesn't need it. It's just a little bit of swagger he's putting on it. There's only four people on their channel. I'm not seeing somebody in there. Spiders is in there. Uh, all right, all teams are in the channel. Going to toss out the grab well because we're getting close on the dual timer. And we're ready to go here. Let's see where they head out first. Tony trying to get in on the side. Not really making it. Spiders taking a big dive here. Ooh, a lot of oh, damage in, and the others got in there as well. That is not what you want to do oh. in the current meta. If you get that kind of dive off right there, it is pretty much unretrievable. It looks like Twist Team really certain that they want to make a place in the final. Tony takes a dive directly into the death wall. Hopefully he will actually be able to get out of that. We do not know. But you are not going to get out of a dive of this kind of quality right here. If you are able to catch some squishy targets together just like that and unleash your abilities as a group, it is pretty much game over. And we saw a perfect example of that right there. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, an absolute slaughter coming out from Twist's group, the fashion and style group. I mean, if you're going to clump up like that, at least have some heavy armor, you think, eh? I mean, I think you might need a little bit more than heavy armor in order to deal with the burst that was provided right there. That that was a, a very well-coordinated dive right there that, uh, well, all their life was gone pretty much immediately. And uh, it is impossible to res Tony right here. Hopefully when he died right there, he'll be able to respawn at one of our <laughs> many available camps. <laughs> Otherwise, he'll have to make a run back while we do the next round. Oh, Tony's back. We're good. All right, hey, for so our next round, we're going to be seeing Team Jexus and Team Viz down here. 
Hey, Twist, by the way, for them to start, how are you? how is you and your team feeling after that win? Easy clapping, dude. Easy clapping. The only team, or the only me in this team is meme, dude. <laughs> do you think that the style and fashion has anything to do with it? Oh, yeah. It's all Doug Doug's thighs. Have you seen those things? They're well oiled. They are very oiled. That is true. He's greasy and slippery, and you can't kill him. All right, well, we've heard about the greasy slipperiness of Doug's thighs, and hopefully the healers and the squishy players inside of this bout here will be able to execute some of that same greasy slipperiness. This is a real make-or-break matchup for both of these teams if they want to verify a chance in the final for themselves and a chance at that major pri prize pool. It looks like all of the competitors are ready. We're going to go ahead and toss out the grab well here. Good luck to both the teams, and let's see what you got here. An early ice, ice shower comes out. Is that perhaps too early? It's moved out. It did not have a lot of effect. They definitely wasted a cooldown there. We're seeing a little bit of a poke. A little bit different than the, uh, what we saw from the last battle where we had a very quick dive. We see a dive and a counter dive. Jexus Ooh. ends up reaped after he gives the root from the kiss. Not a lot of damage. Oh, now a big damage Johnny coming Mars. on Hentai. A lot of big damage right there. Viz also taking some good damage, but it's turning around and going on to Sins and brings him down. Hentai also going down. <laughs> a lot of damage moving over to Viz now. He uses the charge to get out of that. Soltik continuing to chase with the poke. Benji trying to provide some CC to get a little room for that. Sage in the back here takes a grab. Well, counters the, the shot. The ice storm goes down. Ooh, Viz ending up in the cold, and now he is going to be left out in the cold. Maybe he left his team out in the cold there too. We will see. It looks like they have all found their way to the ground now, and all of Jex's team is still standing up. A rough beat for Viz's team. I'm not sure whether they're going to be able to make the final after that, but I think Jex's team has secured himself a good shot. This Jex's team absolutely slapped that one. I'm honestly surprised they were both very. Uh... Well, teams looked very willing and ready to absolutely slaughter, and I guess Texas' team wanted it a bit more. As a matter of fact, I think that does assure that Viz's team is not going to make the final. And it is also certain that Cuz team is not going to make the final. It is already certain that Twist team is going to make the final. However, Jexus's team and Spicy's team currently sit with six points each so Jexus's team is going against Cuz team now Jexus and Cuz team so I think Jexus's team has the upper hand here but Cuz team looking for that revenge they have a chance to throw a big wrench in the works right here and you could say the twist team are they going to save their strengths for the final round which is really important for the money and since they already have a chance at that bag or are they really going to try and upset Spicy's team from making it to the final? Do you feel like Twist team feels like they have a better chance against Spicy's team, and so they want to disrupt allow them to get to the final? Or do you feel like they believe that they would have a better chance against Jexus's team, right? Mm, I think I'm, I'm thinking they have a better chance against Spicy's team, but I think they're going to go straight for the final here. I think they're going to go for that big bag, you know what I'm saying? All right, well, since it is more of the deciding match, even though it is supposed to be our second matchup in this round, we are going to see Twist team and Spicy's team down in the arena next. If Spicy's team is capable of winning this one, they will form a, a must-win situation for Jexus's team. If Jexus's team is capable of winning that, then they will have to fight Spicy's team to see who goes to the final before we actually do see the final bout. However, if Spicy's team is not capable of pulling out a win here, and Jexus's team is able to win against Ka, then we will see Jexus's team and Twist team in the final. So this is a big matchup, boys. We saw a big dive from Twist not in this. group. A lot of veterans oh, on either, we're getting, either we're getting side. So. All right, a lot of veterans on either side. Either We've seen a lot of different looks from Twist team. Over here, we got a lot of different looks currently from this team. Not a lot of cohesion in their looks, but hopefully there can be a lot of cohesion in their damage. It looks like all of the competitors are ready. We're going to go ahead and toss out the grab well. For some reason, they've decided to come very, very tight to the death wall. Are they going to use that as part of their strategy? Immediately, they move kind of away from it. Who really knows? 
A lot of a fray going on right now. There's a little bit of damage coming in. Not too Ooh, spicy. Daedalus a little bit of AoE path damage. Of Destiny. Daedalus coming with a big path of Destiny. Twist looking low, going down to about half-life, popping a potion and getting away. Kind of pulling the damage off of him, but he is giving his back to Mugi. He throws down a shockwave to disrupt that. We have an ice spike that comes out. Doesn't really meet its target with the full damage that you would possibly hope with that. Spicy creating some good distance with the flesh. Pokey tossing out the heels, not really getting captured too much. We got two deaths suddenly Ooh. pop out. Mugi and Daedalus take big spikes of damage, and they both take themselves to the ground. And Artorius following them quickly thereafter, not wanting to leave his brothers behind. Weeping Bell following them up after that. And I think we see the snowball that is just as greasy as Doug's thighs and just as white as Twist's leotard. Ryuan, what yeah. do you think? Those thighs really are gripping around those necks, you know what I'm saying? The uh, Twist team is absolutely slaughtering with tonight's performance. I'm, I actually think that they're going to bring home the bag tonight. I mean, at this point in the tourney, I'd have to say that they do certainly look like the favorites. I mean, you know, if I, take, if I cast my, my gaze around all of the competitors here, it is obvious that Twist and his leotard is my favorite. What beautiful fashion. And we didn't actually have this competition for this, but I got to say, if it's a fashion competition, this guy right here, he really knows what he's talking about. He, he should potentially earn an additional, an additional thing. So we're going to go ahead and have Jexus's team and Cuz team down here. This is Cuz team's ability to really upset and displace how this thing happens. If Cuz team is able to win right here, then he sends Jexus's team into a one-off elimination match against Spicy's team, which would be indeed a spicy match. And to see who goes to the final to once again face the greasy thighs of Doug Doug and the sharp backs of Twist, the ingenuity of Pokey W, and the shot calling abilities of Monger, and the big damage of life. It's a difficult group to beat with a lot of heavy hitters, but I think one of these teams could do it if they bring it together. This is a really a meta where anything can happen. It looks like both teams are ready down here. Let's see what happens. All right, little poke damage coming in. First targeting onto Soltic. Does get some decent damage into him. Down to about 60%. Good accuracy on that. Gravity Well comes out. Couple Gravity Wells to follow it up. We also see a Scream. Orb comes into that. Tony takes some damage. Backs out. Gets some good healing. Some damage coming down. A lot of CC. A lot of cooldowns coming out. Not really anybody taking too much damage. Jexus now going down a little bit. Does is able to create some distance. And suddenly a lot of damage coming in on Mars. He, it was a good swap to him as a target. Ooh. And it is effective. He is dropped down. The Spiders and Kali both being able to free cast their heals. But not capable of healing through these bursts. Everybody taking a good bit of damage. Ooh. Moxu also low. Some more damage coming down on Jexus. Jexus and Johnny both down. That is a big hit to Jexus's team. And I'm very surprised to see it, honestly. Those, those two are usually very survivable. This battle going a little bit slower than some of the other ones that we've seen, but there have been some effective target swaps and bursts that have led to getting some effective kills. And you would think that we would have a snowball right here, but doing very effective to stay alive with the three men. When they can stay alive this long, Ryu, and isn't it possible that sometimes they can actually turn the battle around and turn it in their favor, even though they're outmatched? Yeah, I mean, we saw some reses going off earlier. Maybe we'll see a res going off now. Saltic, go for the res. Oh, I Jexus. mean, there is a res coming out now. That oh did just gosh. happen. Jexus is back up, and we are back into a 4v5 situation. And with their abilities to sustain in a 3v5 situation like that, you can only hope that Jexus is able to add just a little bit more to that. However, Kali Wobble, ooh, he is going down now, and I'm certain he added a lot to that sustain being the healer. However, I do know that Jexus sometimes is healing. He does have it in his bag. He's throwing down an ice shower. Now, Native gets a good drop on Tony right there. Mars is down as well. Almost a res getting off on him by Jexus, but just not quite enough. Cut taking some good damage in order to interrupt that, though. Saltic also looking low, but he's still up. Is, is he able to get out of this? I don't know. The Root does not quite take him out. Cut not able to put down the damage with the Void Blade. Still oh, following Salt, him out, though. Does Saltic finish him down. up in the chase. Saltic goes down. Saltic, Kali Wobble, Johnny all down for Jexus's team now. And they get a res off. We are in a 5v3 situation. Oh. Jexus gets the res off on Saltic as Moxu goes down. The tides are turning in this battle left and right. We're currently sitting in a 3v4 situation. The people who are currently up, some of them have been dead already. They were actually not even dead. They were just resting for the end of this battle. Tony gets caught up in an ice shower. How, or an ice, an ice storm? Ice shower? Yeah, then he's almost on the edge of an ice storm. However, the... Oh, the native looking oh, lower we now. We got a double oblivion canceling out that heal. 
Oh, there is not a lot of burst damage coming down now. A lot of sustain. Native taking a lot of damage. He's capable of throwing out a lot of damage if they're able to get him down. You never know. We see a big oh, clump right here. What could happen? Trump. Big damage coming down. Tony big gets out of the fight. Native. Come, Moxu oh. both down. Native with a gigantic Maelstrom. Huge damage. The biggest damage. Rez is coming in again. This is insane. The Rez meta that we're seeing here, really both teams giving it their all. Maybe even 200%, maybe even 300% in some cases to try and bring out this battle. Neither team setting it down easy. Neither team wanting to lose. Kali Wobble back up, gets the potion off, getting pressured by the spear, knocked out. Oh, oh my god, the oh ice my. spike for the peel. Peels him into the next fucking dimension. We see a lot of damage coming out on him. That is how you protect your healers, boys. We have, ooh, we're trying to get some other reses in. It's Ka, Tony, Moxu down. This is the first time that we've seen a 2v5, 3v5 now situation. However, the three are on the side of Spider's team now, who was not in the 3v5 situation. These tides have turned dramatically. Ruby getting trained by Native, gets the shockwave off. He's very low. Does he have a potion? He has defiant stance. That's going to give him a little health. He's backing. He's so close to the death wall. He makes a play. He knocks him oh. in that death wall. Oh, my God. He finishes him. What a fucking play by Ruby. What a fucking play by Ruby. Oh, my God. This is the craziest fight we've seen yet. This is maybe the best. Best fight oh we will see all God. night. Spiders goes down for that, but Ruby with the gigantic play takes Native to the death wall, knocks him oh, into it, to it ends, ends up finishing him off. Tony is low. Ruby's moving around. He's getting a res off. Moxu gets back up, hits a potion. He's out. You know he has all the cooldown. Ruby's making the big play. Get Reef. He maybe gives his life for this defiant stance again. Is he capable of keeping himself up right now? He is able to stun Mars. He gets away. He Looks alive? like he popped the regen potion. He is staying alive. Native gets res. He's back from the other dimension. The death wall could not stop oh, him. Ruby he gets down. revenge on Ruby. Ruby did not kill him hard enough. He did not kill him hard enough. This maybe would be completely different in an open field battle where you could not res your teammates. But that is not the case here. You can't finish them off. Oh. And the what battle finally ends mind. with Jexus's team coming out the victors. <laughs> that was oh actually unbelievable. God. The plays that we saw inside of that from the reses to the to the shield bashes into the death wall actually insane it really doesn't matter who wins here tonight i think we can all agree that we were winners for being able to see that battle ryu in your post-match thoughts uh, i don't have i don't have many words for that but that was definitely a buddy fight right there i mean if i had to throw money in that one i would have for sure that was fun to watch man you guys are crazy it was so close from beginning to end just res is going off left and right Everyone going down and coming back up. Oh, it was uh, that was crazy, man. Really good job to both those teams right there. That was actually insane. Ryu, and can we get you over with the winners, Jexus's team, to get some post match thoughts from them? All right, Jexus. What are you thinking after that win right there? <laughs> Did you guys have any uh, any concerns at all during that, that fight? Out, just realizing that at any moment somebody could pick somebody else up, it really just became a game of making sure that didn't happen, and yeah, it was a struggle for sure. What were the comms looking like in that call you guys over there? It seems like it probably would have been pretty crazy. Oh yeah, uh, it was for a bit. It was just real surprised, and then uh, it was just trying to play defense, make sure nobody could pick anybody up and we could get enough damage on somebody. Is there anything specific that you thought that uh, turn the tide of that that battle right there is an absolute war just the 10 of you guys yeah um man i i thought we it, it was over and then i got picked up and uh we were able to put it together got a nice res on stro and then we managed to keep enough pressure to eventually whittle them down all right well really good job from you guys and really good job from both teams actually uh, we're excited to see how the rest of the fights are going to turn out. Really good job. <clears throat> And not only was that such a great battle and just a good effort in and of itself, but that effort right there secured themselves a spot in the final, being the only team to pick up nine points. And they're going to face off against Twist's team, who picked up 12 points. 
However, before the final, we are going to take a quick two-minute intermission, let the nerves from that last battle settle so that we can let our competitors break off into channels and talk about any strategies that they might want to change. Actually, let's give it five minutes. Those teams, break off to channels by yourself. Talk about any strategy you want to go up with the fights, with what you've seen so far. We're going to reconvene at 6.30 exactly, and then we're going to start the final battle, and the winner of that battle will take home the prize. Man, that Ruby's uh, shield bash on native into the death wall, landing that kill. That was my favorite play, I think, for that entire fight. Should we make it a best of three? It's crazy. Make it a best of three? Sure, do best of three, yeah. Final fight? Yeah, I think that's fine. I really like the uh, the ice spike. The casting is uh, like top notch. That was notch. crazy. Oh, yeah, like, I amazing oh, casting. Great job, guys. That was the greatest 5v5 I've ever seen. I don't think yeah, it's holy shit. Good. I was screaming. I think, like... the best, I think the best part was when um, uh, someone, uh, Ka, had the Void Gauntlet, and he went on to Soltik, and Soltik was about to die from like a single or two hits from that Void. But instead of dodging or doing anything, he uses block, and he blocked two of the uh, melees, and he was able to get away for a short time. Yeah, so many good plays there. Holy shit. All right, everyone. It is 6:30. We are we have our combatants in the arena. Both of the groups in this arena, they're a little bit richer now. There was a a 25k prize pool for third place. That's going off to Spicy Wonton's team over here. Running off. I can see Spicy. Yeah. I don't know where the rest of his team is. That's our oh, that's yeah. our third place team. They're going to be going home with 25k tonight, even though they're not going home with an overall victory. Whoever turns out the, the second place team, the loser of this battle, they're going to be taking home 50,000 gold tonight, or 10,000 for each of their players. And the winner of this battle is going to be taking home 125,000 gold. That means that this 5v5 that's going on right here is effectively a 175,000 gold wager. That's one of the biggest wagers that has probably ever transpired on this server that's actually going to get financially backed. So give your all, yourselves all a round of applause for actually being here for that kind of wager and for our participants for sure for being a part of that. This is going to be a best of two out of three fight. That's going to give you guys some opportunity to maybe adjust between the matches as rounds to try and go a different strategy if it doesn't work out the first time. We've seen a lot of crazy things from both of these teams. We've seen... Uh, Let's see, they look like they are all in there. Go ahead and switch off to your channels, guys. I'm really excited for the turnout on this one. I mean, Jex Jexus's team, even though I think that Doug Doug and Twist teams have been absolutely dominating this time, I mean, Jexus's yeah. team got a whole war's worth of experience from that yeah. fight, so I'm thinking they I mean, they even, might be a even if they up. get those dives off, will will Jexus's team be able to recover? Let's find out, everybody. Let's get ready to rumble. Jexus' team comes out with the ice shower. Little bit of poke coming in. Twist dives in. We got gravity wells. There's a couple gravity wells coming out. Are we going to get a good target this time? We see a good bit of damage come out. Johnny Mars taking a little bit, getting healed up. Twist also taking some damage. Some good heals coming around. Everybody oh, actually is displacing that damage. Dug. Big screen by Dub Dug. We got a lot of damage coming in on Native. However, he is able to pull away, get some decent distance. He's down to about half. Monger also at half. Ooh, a trade right there. Oh, Twist and Monger both go. Going down at the same time. Good trade for the teams. Looks like they both lost one. They're both oh, they're going looking alive. similar. Live. They're burning out of there. He does not want no piece of that. Jex is coming over. Hitting him with the scream. Following up with the Void Blade. Pokey also taking some Pokey pressure. Go down. Pokey goes down. Live. Dashing away. He is taking a path of destiny. Good follow up on that. Salt that gets the finish. Now they just have to kill Dug Dug. This man is a raid boss himself. And I've seen 20 men try to kill this individual. And not been capable of doing it. However, generally his strat does include running away for at least 13 hours and it does not work for him this time so we see the first round surprisingly i think for most viewers of this competition going to jexus's team ryu and what's what surprised you about that fight you know i'm still surprised myself uh i'm i mean also not at the same time because of how much uh, experience they got just from that last fight they had but uh i am very surprised that they lost after Doug Doug got that massive scream off. I mean, they had Gravity Wells followed up with that too. Uh, I, I'm actually like kind of appalled right now. I mean, 
I mean, I have to admit, with the greasiness of Doug Doug's thighs, I thought he might have been able to grace, break away from those five men and leave them in such a slippery situation where he was capable of getting a res off. That did not happen to be the case, but it looks like our combatants are ready to go. It looks like they've almost set up in some formations here. I wonder if those formations will actually be part of their strategy. It looks like Twist Team falling to the left. They're going to get a path of destiny in on Johnny here. They tr go after Johnny as a target. We see a hold dive come in on him. Is he going to be able to live through it? He sees a good amount of damage I'm not sure if that was the best target he's got a lot of damage coming out of him but he also can take a lot a lot of heavy armor on him twist going down low charging away he gets away he gets another grab well off he's very low he's getting a potion off looks like a regen did not give him enough health to probably be an infused healing potion Sultic also low but also gets a potion off twist doing some good kiting gets the shockwave off turns around with the hammer double dodge triple dodge this man must have hardy perhaps even nimble he turns around gets a good maelstrom off good cleave so he played some now. good damage. Ooh, Twist going a little bit low again, but he did get a lot of damage out. Not enough follow-up, oh. though, and he does get picked and followed up. Maybe that's why they went in on Johnny Mars to begin with. They knew that his ability to follow up and secure a kill was something that you needed to take care of early in the battle. Live oh. also taking a tumble. Are we seeing the champions fall? They said it was going to be an easy clap, but are they getting clapped too easy, <laughs> Ryuin? Yeah, they said it was an easy clap, but it doesn't look too easy. I mean, Twist's been going down more than anyone else here. I'm surprised with Live going down so early with his uh, ability to survive. Uh, but he was very clumped up in those those big group. So is, is Pokey thinking about a res play right now? Does Johnny know Pokey's thinking about a res play right He's now? Definitely trying is to that shut Troy's him down. trying to put him into this gravity well? Pokey doing his best to stay alive. Gets himself healed all the way back to full after Johnny's burst. Johnny's not going to be able to kill him anytime soon. That's almost guaranteed. He doesn't have his cooldowns. Monger gets caught in the gravity well at Half-Life. Are they going to be able to secure this kill? Ryuin, are they going to be able to do it? Native tries to follow up. He's getting dangerously close to the death wall, but he does not take it all the way over there. Gets read back. Charges out. That's good defensively. He is going to be able to reset. Really showing a good job to reset here. Doug Doug, basically a raid boss, but this raid boss is at low health. These people are ready for the loot. Are they getting too psyched on that red line, though? Doug Doug is capable of resetting. He gets away. Mondra and Doug Doug both taking some damage, but I'm pretty sure Doug Doug has at least 80 million health. He gets the clear out on Kali Wobble. 30% of Doug Doug down. looking dangerous, but not as dangerous as Pokey laying on the ground. Is Doug Doug going to be able to do something about this? He is. He does have his Lamborghinis on, and he is taking them on a marathon, but he is now caught in a grab well and it's getting followed up by native that is not a position that you want to be in Saltic cast down the, the ice shower not to capture not to capture Doug Doug but to speed up his partners that is a good play but it was not good enough Doug Doug capable of getting away resets with the shockwave gets it off before natives lands counters it almost caught in the grab well dodges away gets the potion off still trying to follow him up Monger also getting low Doug Doug really showing some amazing kiting right here that's why that man is so hard to kill Monger also staying alive very well using the hammer defensively really trying to stay alive they got to be thinking about some kind of clever play here but do they have the manpower for Mondra goes down. down this is looking very dangerous we got all five men gonna be easy for them to keep a target they could literally not have mouths and call this target at this point in time he's the only man left on the field however he could possibly be 10 or 20 men by himself but he's not gonna live through that damage this is unbelievable folks that and a 2 crazy. blowout the people who wow. I think probably everyone watching this considered the favorite Favorites, fall to the five-man team with the, with the cohesion from the previous server. Who was my personal favorites, I might add? I hate to say I told you so, but in this kind of setting, I had, do have to say I told you so. It looks like Johnny Mars, Jexus, Kali Wobble, Soul Tick, and, uh, and I forgot Native. Native, that's the other one. They are going to be taking home the 125K. Twist, Monger, Doug Doug, Pokey W Live. They're going to have to settle for just 50K. However, I know those guys, they're going to be able to do some great things with that 50K. Ryuin, can we hear from the champions after that wonderful victory? All right, Jexus, where are you at? Yeah, how, man. Are you feel how are you feeling after this, after this win, man? He's uh -huh. got 125K. We're going to Disney World. You're going to Disney World, okay. <laughs> Is there anything specific that you guys thought that you did really well in that fight to secure the win? You know, we just uh, we noticed the twist was engaging frequently, and so we were just waiting for that to happen. We wanted to have our squishies dodge on the encounter, try and land a root on him, shut him down early, because the last thing we wanted was Monger and Twist doming any of our individual players, because that was clearly the problem in the last round. 
And I saw Saltic with that big interrupt on that res that Doug Doug tried to get on twist. Uh, how are you feeling after that with Saltic? Feeling pretty good. Not gonna lie. Feeling pretty like, good. Uh, I mean, that was 125k uh, play you just made right there. So I would be okay, feeling dude. pretty good about that too. Really good job from you guys tonight, by the way. All right, everyone. That was an exceptional competition. If I can have my, my, my second place team, who's located here, my first place team, if I can get Spicy's team to, to locate themselves over where I'm located right now so we can, that we can get a lineup of our winners so that our governor can make sure that you're, that everything's passed out. He might have already taken care of that. He is pretty good about the funds, except for when he's buying loot luck trophies. So we got our third place winners over here, 25K richer. We got our second place winners over here. They got 50,000 gold to spend on tea bags, apparently. And our first place winners, Jexus's team, coming through in the clutch, capable of pulling it out, 125k richer. Let's hear a round of applause for our combatants, everyone. Great work, everyone. Yeah! Woo! Woo! Yeah! 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 All right, good job, everyone. That was really actually extremely exciting, especially at the end there, man. Like, those were some crazy fights. The, the last three fights were actually sick. <laughs> Absolutely dope fights. I did not expect it to be that dope, man.